Genetically modified foods are foods that have had their genetics altered in some particular fashion. And quite honestly, we've been doing this for a long time. The concept of selective breeding, where we breed certain varieties of crops together to get desired traits, that's technically a form of genetic modification. And that's how we get things like seedless grapes or broccoli flower um, or some of the other varieties of foods that you know wouldn't necessarily have developed um, if just nature had taken its course. What most people think of, however, when they think of genetic modification is the use of a vector to implant a desired trait into another crop. For instance, let's say that there is some sort of desired gene. Let's say there is a gene for vitamin A or there's a gene that promotes resistance to a particular type of pesticide. And that sounds really good as far as improving a particular crop. Well, what scientists might do is they would cut out that particular gene, just that one gene segment, and they would use this structure called a plasmid uh, in order to kind of put that gene into the desired crop. Okay, so they'd put the, the desired gene with the plasmid and that desired gene would get incorporated into the plasmid. And then when that crop starts to develop when we're growing that crop right from its, from its seeds, we would put that plasmid vector with the desired trait into that medium so it ends up taking up that gene into its DNA. And as that crop grows, what we get is a, is a crop that has that gene incorporated into its DNA. So for instance, like I said, that's how we can take vitamin A from one plant and get that vitamin A in another plant in order for this plant to now express that particular gene. Now, something that I want to make very clear about genetic modification is that just because you eat a food that has been genetically modified doesn't mean it's going to alter your own DNA. I think sometimes people think of genetic modification and they think that they're going to like grow an extra limb or like start glowing at night and that's just not the way it is. Okay. And something else to be aware of is that genetically modified crops and, and, and foods have been thoroughly tested for many, many years. And there is a general scientific consensus that genetically modified foods do not pose an increased risk to human health. However, I can understand why some people are a little bit hesitant to consume them and they might just even morally not like the idea of genetic modification. The science says it's okay, but honestly, when it comes to food, it's really about figuring out what makes sense for you uh, as far as your own beliefs about food and your own ethics go. Um, personally, my biggest concern with, with genetically modified foods is I'm worried about um, us trying to rely a little bit too much on one crop or another crop and that could potentially negative negatively affect biodiversity in our environment so we should like anything continue to test these things continue to look them over make sure we are making good decisions and that the science is still clear but as of right now the science does not show that genetically modified foods pose a threat to human health